Welcome back family, I pray you're having a beautiful day as always. Today we're going to be talking about a situation that happened a while back. It was in 2022, but it happened a few months ago. It was at the Commonwealth Games 2022, and many have been speculating that this was not just your everyday event, but was actually a ritual. So today we're going to go through the footage and break it down step by step and compare it with scripture. Interestingly enough, I did actually make this video a few months ago on my TikTok channel, which is now believe it or not taken down it reached over 500,000 views in a very short period of time and one of the people who took part in the event actually reached out to me and tried to cause a debate when they realized that I wasn't just somebody who was uneducated but I knew the scriptures then they started to play the victim and send their friends over to my channel to tell me to stop making content with them in it the hypocrisy runs deep with Satan's children because they were making content with me in it but they didn't want me to make content with them in it so now you have a little backstory of what has taken place between me and the partakers of this event without any further ado let's get into the video now we are going to get to the commonwealth games footage and break it down comparing it with scripture but before we do i would like to show you this article the commonwealth games opening ceremony many have claimed that it is baal worship in plain sight according to 2 kings 17 16 it says they forsook all the commandments of yahuwah their elohim the lord their god and bowed down to all the starry hosts and worshipped baal a star-studded opening ceremony broadcast live from Birmingham's Alexander Stadium marked the official start of the 2022 Commonwealth Games, described as a broadcast ambition that has never been conceived before. The live ceremony was designed to explore Birmingham and the wider West Midlands rich and diverse history. Now there has been a few perspectives that have been shared about this event. Some didn't go the biblical route but claimed that this was a representation of racism and colonialism. But either way, I want to focus on the biblical aspects because those of you who have eyes to see and ears to hear know that we should not be worshipping anybody but the one true living God, Yahuwah. So, a multitude of concerns others sent something rather darker one pt correspondent said that after watching the event i couldn't believe what i was seeing and i am still grieving over the occult obeisance demonstrated at this travesty there were many aspects that concerned readers but i agree it was extremely occult and that's what we're going to get to now here it is the birmingham 2022 commonwealth games introduction obviously it's in birmingham i've actually been there a few times and they do have a mascot which is a bull which is what they have used as their mascot and their justification for the idolatry that is to come. There it is, the Birmingham Bull from the Bull Ring. Now bear in mind that the viewers of this event is going to be more than the Commonwealth country members, but just the Commonwealth has over 2.6 billion people. So this is a massive audience for them to present their so-called ritual in front of. And look who's hosting it, none other than Prince Charles, the same man that actually has stepped up now to be the King of England. And let me add, not very popular King of England. Now here is the bull that is being dragged out to the center of the arena in order to be worshipped by the participants of the ritual. And it is also facing this so-called Tower of Babel, which one of the commentators slipped up and actually called the Tower of Babel. Now here is the intro to the Commonwealth Games ritual. I don't know if you noticed that. It was actually the camera coming out of the rings of Saturn. And if you know about Saturn worship, it is very significant to show us an exploding star star outside of the firmament for those of you who know you know coming down to earth and who was it according to scripture that fell to the earth like lightning and is the false light none other than the devil himself and as you can see the shards that are breaking off from the shattered star are landing in all of the commonwealth countries now this lady here she is one of the victims to the new age deception she goes outside of her house heads towards the fallen light that has landed in her back garden she picks it up and what is she doing she is speaking to it praying to it if you know what prayer is it is literal communication people asking something that they worship for something a request to a deity now take a look she's heading back to her home and everybody else who has also accepted those fallen lights into their homes their homes are floating now you may think oh what does this mean well it means that all of the other commonwealths who have accepted the call of who of the fallen one have now landed in birmingham they've all come together as one 
and pay attention, their house, their home is now in the arena. And here's the rest of the people who have accepted the call to bear the false light. Followed by chained up women pulling what? None other than the idol itself. The bull, the satanic structure that is enslaved apparently. But do not be deceived because these slave women are being driven by a slave master. Which looks like a demon to be honest with feathers coming out the back of his head. And all of a sudden what happens? The bull is freed and the bull starts to walk towards the center of the arena as if it is in control now and the new ages are watching it thinking what is taking place here but stepping forward are the bearers of the false light as the smoke comes out of the nostrils of the image of the beast what is about to take place well it's about to communicate something that many people don't realize is that communication between a human being and something that is being seen as a deity is prayer it is worship so she steps forward in fear. You see the level of fear that she has? And at this point in the ceremony, there are announcements being made to the audience in order to get them to perceive this ritual from a certain perspective. But as you can see, the mouth opens. Now, if you know about the pagan times, what would happen when people would step forward to a deity, they would make an offering. Now, as you can see, the bull has changed its entire presence. It is now starting to stand up the image of the beast. And by the way, the image of the beast is facing the Tower of Babel. And these new ages are reaching out their hands. As you can see, they are surrounding it in a circle, which is what the occult always do. They form circles during their rituals and they are worshipping the image of the beast. And now, as you can see, there is a woman riding the image of the beast, whilst all of the new ages, the false light bearers, are surrounding the image of the beast and welcoming everybody else to come and worship to come and bow down to the image of the beast and look at who is overseeing the worship of the image of the beast and things were being read out at that point in time now the beast has been surrounded by the flags of the nations who have accepted the call to worship the image of the beast now look at this point the false light bearers go to the base of the tower and they all start to do what ascend and this is a very new age belief system they believe that they can ascend and through their ascension can become enlightened and that is exactly what starts to take place here you will see that the stadium starts to fill with light but it is the false light and watch what happens here the light shines onto the chest of the bull and if you remember what the book of revelation says it says that the second beast will be given power to give life unto the image of the beast so if we go and look at history people have been trying to be their own god for a very very long time and the prophecies are coming to pass exactly as the scripture said they would now look at the tower as the light is ascending we have to remember this is the false light it is the false light bearer as scripture says that satan appears as an angel of light the people are worshipping the beast. They have absolutely no idea what is taking place here. Many have been deceived. Remember what happened to Moses when he went and got the commandments from the Most High and came off of the mountain and smashed the tablets because they were worshipping the calf, the golden calf. It's the same thing, exactly the same situation repeating itself throughout history. People are preferring idolatry than to worship the Most High, Yahuwah. And why is that? because they prefer the false light. They want to be false light bearers, children of Satan. The reason why is because Satan doesn't convict them of their sins. Satan doesn't tell them that they have to turn away from unrighteousness and immorality. He condones it and in fact, he encourages it. He says, well done when you sin. He congratulates you because he knows that ultimately he is devouring the souls of the lost. He knows that when people sin, they are transgressing the law because sin is transgression of the law. Now, I would like to read you this verse from Revelation 13, 11 to 15, because I believe that it will be very, very significant in the times coming in the future. In fact, we might actually go all the way to 18. So it says in Revelation 13, 11 onwards, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb and he spake like a dragon and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the beast whose deadly wound was healed and he does great wonders so that he makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men and deceives them that dwell on the earth 
by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword, and did live, but he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Now look at this. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score and six. Now let me know family in the comment section below, do you believe that that ritual that you witnessed take place at the Commonwealth Games 2022 was an outward expression of their allegiance to the beast before the beast has actually implemented what he has prophesied to implement in the book of Revelation? Or do you think that it is something else? Please let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to keep this video nice and short. And in the future, if I'm led to, maybe I will dive really deep into the scripture in regards to this topic, like I did on my TikTok video before it was taken down. But for now, I think that that was sufficient. And I would really like to know what everybody truly, truly thinks in the comment section before I go on and expand on this topic, because I would like to know where everybody is on their journey. And there are so many people who have such great wisdom. All glory to the Most High Yahuwah. I have witnessed it in the comment section. So thank you, family, for being my brothers and sisters in Christ. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button turn on the notification bell if you haven't already done so if you're a subscriber and if you haven't subscribed make sure you do subscribe because i've been checking my statistics and there are so many people who watch me consistently but you haven't subscribed so i'd greatly appreciate it if you do hit that subscribe button and join the community apart from that family you have a beautiful day if you want to support me a little further the links to my patreon are in the description below and there are also a few other ways that you can support me so that i can continue doing this full time and increase the quality of my content consistently. I love you so much, family, and I'll see you on the next one.